I have grandkids or kids coming over for some holiday fun. We have the perfect recipe that you can make with them using essential oils. You're gonna love this DIY air dry clay diffuser ornaments. Your kids will be able to be super creative if they don't take long to make and you can use them for years to come. Let's show them what all the fun's about, Katie. To make this recipe, you'll need your monthly essential oil recipe box. You'll want your labels and your recipe card. And for this recipe, we're gonna use some common kitchen ingredients as well as lime essential oil and cassia essential oil. And from your kitchen, you're gonna to wanna to grab one cup of baking soda and a half a cup of cornstarch. You also wanna grab some string and things to decorate your ornaments with, which could be paint, you could use permanent markers, you could use glitter. stamps, glitter. You can also use a mold or cookie cutters to cut out your ornaments too. So let's get to making them. To make this recipe, we're gonna add the cup of baking soda, and then the half a cup of cornstarch, and then we're gonna add a half cup of water. We're gonna put it on a pan on medium heat, and we're gonna continuously stir until we get a thick mixture. Once the mixture form is able to form a ball, it's ready to be done. It doesn't take long at all, about five minutes or so. We're gonna let it cool slightly in the pan until it's safe to touch, and we're gonna put this on a piece of parchment paper covered in a damp towel, because we don't want this dough to dry out. So we've got a wet paper towel over it so that it won't dry out. Once it's at a temperature that's safe to handle, you can start by flattening it out. If you've got a rolling pin, that's a little bit easier. But to keep it flat, I am just gonna flip it around, flatten it out, and repeat. This recipe is super easy to double if you have a whole bunch of people that you wanna make ornaments with. All right, now that it's all spread out, we can start choosing some of our cookie cutters and molds to fill with this dough. And be careful taking it out, it might crack a little bit. My broken kind of, heart. <laughs> you can put it back together a little bit and you can try to smooth it out more so that you have a nice surface to decorate once it's dry. You can even fill a mold. So you can uh, go ahead. If you want to use any of these as an ornament for your tree, you'll want to poke a hole through the top. You can use a straw or a toothpick to get a little hole in it. Here are some that are already dried that we made previously. Here's examples of ones that we put into molds. This one has some more detail on it. This is the same one that looks like a tag. All right, let's go ahead and decorate. I'm gonna make a cute little Christmas bird. Oh, super cute. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> All right, so now that they're decorated, we can add some string so that they can hang. And then we can add our essential oils and they will naturally diffuse off of these ornaments. So we'll add two drops of lime and one drop of cassia. It's a really nice, sweet and spicy scent. You'll want to let the oils absorb into the clay a little bit. And then they're ready to be hung and to be gifted. Feel free to customize your ornaments with whatever oils you want. This is just the recipe that we recommend. It smells really good. And you'll wanna refresh these ornaments as needed. You can add essential oils whenever you feel like the diffuser needs a boost. For more great recipes like this and to learn how to use essential oils with confidence and clarity, go to simplyearth.com slash box. And make sure you hit that subscribe now button so you can get more fun recipes just like this. Thanks for watching. You'll love this air dry DIY diffuser recipe ornament. It's so long. I don't I'll like say, it. I'll say it. Okay.